Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, not real time, I almost said real time, a chit chat, get ready with me. I've been doing a ton of real time get ready with me's and you guys have loved those. Y'all have missed these, as have I. I miss just sitting down, talking to you guys. All of you guys want me to just like update you on everything. And I don't really have a lot of updates, but I just sort of blabber on about a lot of stuff. So yeah, you guys are going to hear all about that. I also did like this glitter thing. I don't know, I've been seeing it all over Instagram. I wanted to like try it out for myself, see how I liked it. Um, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I think it's a little rusty. Like I should probably make them even. Maybe that would help. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. That would mean so much to me. Um, the subscribe button is down here. And yeah, just subscribe and join the fam. Pretty fun. All right, here we go. Let's get on to the video. Does anyone else have to like mentally prep themselves for <laughs> a beat face because I'm literally like, okay, Tori, like, have you eaten? Do you have water? Like, you're in it for the long haul. So how are you guys? How have you guys been? Um, I'm just gonna, you guys know the drill with these. I'm pretty much just gonna chat. I'll have all the products listed down below. Um, I just got back from Boise, Idaho. I was there because my sister goes to college in Idaho. So we were, it's her spring break right now, so we were visiting her for spring break. I'm still waking up, which is why my voice sounds like this. I just woke up like a little bit ago. I was supposed to go to 545 spin this morning, but I didn't wake up, which is like such an issue because starting next Thursday, I'm taking over 545 spin on Thursday mornings. So I better wake my up because it's on. It's such an issue if I can't wake up because I can't not show up to my own spin class. Like I'm the instructor. So you guys might know that I have really bad flying anxiety, but yesterday when I flew, it was like really good. I was, I normally have like medication with me when I fly. Like I have like prescribed um, anti-anxiety meds and I only take them when I fly. That's really the only time I have anxiety. And for this last trip, I ran out and I never got them refilled, partly because I was too lazy and also partly because I just wanted to see how I would do. And I know that like, if it really goes bad, I can just like bring alcohol with me and like take a shot of like vodka or something um, because it does the same thing, it calms you down. On the way home yesterday, I had two flights and I was flying alone because my parents, you know, still were in Idaho and I didn't need any meds. Like I flew no alcohol, no meds, no nothing. And I was like so proud of myself because I kind of started to feel like I was very dependent on flying with meds which I don't want to be dependent on pharmaceutical medication because it's not very good um, it's not natural for the body it's not good to feel dependent on a drug so I was pretty happy that I didn't feel like I needed them anymore but with that being said like I just flew so well like I knew nothing was gonna happen Normally when I fly, I'm always scared that like the plane is literally just gonna fall out of the sky, which if you guys know anything about planes, that sounds pretty ridiculous. Um, but I get really anxious that the engines are just gonna both stop and we're just gonna plummet to our deaths. Or, I mean, I'm not scared of flying, I'm scared of dying. I know there's like an underlying cause and it's death. I'm terrified of dying. So planes just feel like death to me, if you ask me. So that's why I'm like so scared of them. No, it was good. So I kind of want to make a video about like how to, I wouldn't say I've overcome it, but I've gotten so much better. I want to do a video all about like how to combat flying anxiety. So yeah, if you guys are interested in that kind of video, let me know. Um, who is going to Playlist Live and BeautyCon New York? I will be at both. Um, I don't know if I like a meetup or anything at Playlist Live or BeautyCon. I'm assuming that I will, but I haven't gotten any word of that yet. So I will let you know as soon as I know. Also, I know a lot of you guys are asking for a self tanning routine and Danielle in her recent video, she talked about how she uses Loving Tan because Kenzie and I love Loving Tan and we do, we like swear by Loving Tan. So. I'm gonna do a self tanning video like probably next week showing you guys how I use Loving Tan um, and like my self tanning routine. My birthday is on Monday, April 3rd is my birthday. And I'm not a big birthday person. I used to be such a big birthday person. Like I used to love birthdays 
so much. But in the past, like, recent years, like, since I was, like, 15, 15, 16, I just sort of realized birthdays are literally just another day. And I'm not super big on it. Like, I love when people go all out for the birthday and celebrate for, like, a week. I'm like, yes, girl, you do you. I mean, I think even, like, for my 21st birthday, all I'm going to do is, like, go to dinner with my mom, get a glass of wine, maybe go to bars with my friends that night. Like, I don't even know. For my birthday, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going out this weekend with my friends. My best friend, Kat, her and I share a birthday. Same, like, April 3rd, 1998. We're, like, the same age, same everything. We share a birthday. She's, like, my best friend. So, um, that's fun. We always celebrate together. Um, for our 15th birthday, maybe it was our 16th birthday. I think it was for our 16th birthday. We went to Quito, but together with, like, this boy that she was talking to. <laughs> so, that's literally the extent of, like, how crazy we go about our birthdays. But my friend is home from college. She goes to UCLA. And she was in a vlog. Uh, Brisa. <clears throat> She goes to UCLA and she's home right now because they're on like a quarterly system. So they're home for break right now. So that's exciting because we're going to go out with her um, on Sunday and my birthday's on Monday. So it's going to be like a birthday celebration slash Reese's home celebration type of ordeal. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know where we'll go. I mean, we always like to go into the city. Um, I want to ask you guys about my chachak at Ready With Me because everyone keeps asking me to do them in like real, real, real time. Like if it takes me an hour and a half to do my makeup, they want me to upload an hour and a half video. Like, do you guys, would you guys really watch that? Like, I just think that's so long. Like who would watch that? I think people would watch like 10 minutes and then realize that it's like an hour and a half of their life. And then they're like, oh. I mean, I guess it's like the same length as like a movie, but like, I mean, I watch movies with like Matthew McConaughey, like some good content. Like I'm no Matthew McConaughey. You know how some people just like have that touch with makeup and they're just like good at it. And like every move that they make with their brush just looks like they know what they're doing. And then there's other people that literally like move their brush and you're like, do you even like know what you're doing? I don't know how I think I look. I kind of think it looks like I know what I'm doing. But at the same time, like I see people that literally just like, like I'm like, oh my God. You guys have also wanted a festival look. I'm so gonna do one. I think that's gonna be so much fun. I don't know, I might go to Firefly. I don't know yet. Have we heard about all the new scandal going on right now on YouTube? Me either. I don't follow scandal. So I think it's stupid to tear the YouTubers down. Is it just like a thing that all Australians are like hot people? Or is it just like a myth? Because every Australian YouTuber that I watch or follow on Instagram, they're all hot. And I'm just like, is this really like a thing? I've realized that this is my ideal man. Tall, manly, like they have to have like muscles. Um, I really like brown hair on guys. I don't know why, like I could definitely date a blonde, but I just, I, I'm more attracted to brown hair on, on boys. Manly, like you have to be manly because like I'm really feminine and girly. So I want someone that's like super manly to count, to, mm -hmm, to kind of like balance me out and stuff. You know what I mean? I have always really liked tattoos. I don't know why. I just think they're really like, oh, I just love tattoos. So I've always liked tattoos. Um, a full sleeve is like preferable. Is that like surprising any of you guys? I don't know. I really like um, tattoos. And good style is so important to me. Like I really love Scott Disick's style. Um, not his like suits and stuff, like his Kanye style. I think that is like everything to me. I also want someone that's a little older than me. So like right now if I were to date, I'd date someone that's like 22. No. 18, almost, I'm 19. I'm in that zone right now where I'm just like thinking about makeup. I have a video all about like a half cut crease where I talk about it, so I'll link that down below because this is literally the exact same thing. I'm just not really explaining it. All right, I've been seeing like the glitter cut creases on Instagram. Wow, this one is way higher than this one. All right, I'm gonna do that glitter thing that I see. Sometimes I see people put it in like half their eye. Sometimes I see people put it in the middle of their eye. I'm going to do it from like the inner corner to where it meets with the other color and let's see how this looks. All 
All right, so I brought over eyeliner to do my upper lash line, but I don't think I'm gonna put eyeliner up on my upper lash line. I think I just might let this like live for itself. Why is everyone so negative about like how this year is treating them? Every time I see a meme talking about 2016 or 2017, it's always like something explaining how this year has been like a shithole and like how everything bad has happened this year. And I'm just like, you guys on Twitter, like don't even give the year's a chance, like, come on. Like, you just assume that it's a horrible year because maybe, like, some one thing goes bad. Like, yes, I get it. There can be bad years. I had a bad year in third grade, for example. Like, I really did. I know that sounds dramatic, but it was, like, a really bad year for me. But I swear to God, like, the year just started and everyone's like, oh, my God, 2017, worse than 2016. And I'm like, what? Like, you haven't even lived yet. Like, are you... What? I literally remember New Year's like it was yesterday. I went to Temple, which is a college in Philly, and it's in North Philly, which is um, not a good area. I went with Emily and Matt, because Matt and I were still dating, and we went into this party. It was at a frat, I think it was Kappa Sig, and um, within five seconds of entering the party, we lost Emily. And then Matt and I were like, it's way too crowded in here, like, let's go. So then we left. And we literally left Emily in North Philly alone. All right, on with the lashes. These are Ardell Wispy Glamour. So they're just like a little bit more intense. Cute! Except I literally had like a spasm underneath my eye and I got a lot of mascara there. So I'm gonna clean that up in a minute. But I'm gonna dip into a highlighter tonight. This is what I mean. I never watched Jersey Shore because I was always like too young for it. Like I never really thought it was good <laughs> i mean it's still not good but i think now i would really like it so i really want to watch it but i don't know where to find it so if anyone knows can you let a girl know i was so not ready for it when i was like however old i was when that show was on i think i was in like sixth grade because my sister was in eighth grade and she would always watch it and i was like <gasps> scandalous I also never watched Degrassi I thought that was a little too scandy for me how do I watch Degrassi I mean how do I watch Jersey Shore all seasons all episodes let me know a little a little bit of lip gloss to top her off thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy be sure to hit that like button and also check out more of my videos my last to check out with me is right here I know it's been a minute and then my last video is up here if you guys missed that. Love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.